still want to have more, um, maybe a, a little bit more of a pine tree back in here. Pine trees mixed in with these straight trees. They're always together. I I probably will not do too much more. Maybe I'm going to put a lot of little limbs in there with a fine brush. Turn this around. I took the tape off because I sprayed it so much that it got all wet. And so I have to let that dry. I got to think this through. Uh, maybe I'll make this tree come down here. You see, this is already um, wrinkled. I'll just put a few branches going this way. paint upside down? Well, sometimes it's, sometimes it works, and sometimes not too good. But when you're doing trees, it doesn't really matter too much. I gotta put some pine trees in here. They'd go this way. Should have done this if I had it turned. The big sheets of paper are sometimes a little hard to manage for me, but that's the way I like to paint. With these big sheets of paper, this yellow in here. What I need to do is take a small brush. Uh, I got all these little brushes, and I need a rigger. There's a rigger right there. Um, that's a, a longer brush. It's longer like this. And I'm going to put that in my dark colors. Try to get some feeling of of limbs in here. It's a little around this tree. Put some up. And you know when you paint upside down like this, you don't know just what it's going to look like. But um, I'm not worried about it. That was a dark tree. Yeah. You know, when you spray it like this, you let the water do what you want it to do. It, it, it likes to do its own thing. Okay, I'm going to just do one little thing over here. I'm trying to put a little pine tree right there. So I'm going to do that. try this white on like this. It's, it's a lot of fun. You can get nice results. Um, see that is wandering over here.
kind, it's kind of interesting. It's not the the best I've done. I don't think, but you know, I'm not finished yet. Did you know that? I have something in mind. I gotta make that a little bit more. Okay, um, I'm using a toothbrush with white on it, and I'm going like I'm flipping it like this. Because it was a snowy day, and uh, I'm making it snowy. The day, except there was more snow than that even. Okay, I put that in a mat, and I'm going to call it done. Um, you could go on and work more with that, but sometimes uh, overworking spoils it. And I think it comes out pretty good. Composition is pretty good. Um, I like the, the sun shining on the snow. Um, I think that uh, God would be proud of the snow I did. Because, you know, he, he treasures the snow. It means a lot to him. And it's whiter than snow. It reminds me of the Lord who is whiter than snow. I hope that you enjoyed this short demonstration. And um, I guess this is sort of the way I saw it the other day. Uh, the sun wasn't shining quite so bright, but it was snowing and the sun was shining too, a little bit, through the clouds. And I thank you very much for watching today. And I hope you look into my eBay and, and I have a lot of watercolors in there. And they're very reasonable. And I'll probably be putting this one on, too. Um, so just check it out, if you will. And thank you so much for my wonderful people that give me such beautiful comments. Uh, I want to give it all it to the, the Lord. The praise goes to Him. He's the one that gave me the talent. And so thank you again today. And till the next time. Bye.